The water is clear. The water is so warm. It's about 85 degrees right now. And look, it's just beautiful and quiet here. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Are you somebody looking for a place to retire or you're looking for a place to have a long extended vacation like a family? So if you haven't watched my our last video um, about a reason why we left the US and moved to Vietnam, uh, make sure you check it out. And today we are going to talk about our monthly expenses in Vietnam. Since we have moved back here for almost three months now, so today um, we're gonna talk to you about our money expense for the month of October. But before that, I would like to uh, let go over where we are living now. Currently, our family is in Da Nang, Vietnam. Da Nang, Vietnam um, is the third largest city in Vietnam. After Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, Da Nang is the number uh, number three uh, largest city, and why would I like to uh, talk to you guys about why it's uh, affordable and um, and also it's perfect place for a family here, and it's, it will be a, it might be a perfect place for people who's looking for an affordable place with beautiful beaches and uh, a nice friendly community in Vietnam. Let's. Start, okay so first I'm going to talk about why it's so affordable because um, our monthly rent right now uh, is 500 about five hundred dollars a month and which included utilities like what we call it to in in America they call like a management fee uh, which cover everything so we only pay five hundred dollars for a condo that right next to the beach if you haven't checked that video out make sure you also click in the link here and watch that the tour of our condo in Da Nang it's right next to the beach if you stay at the hotel here it's about uh, $70 a night um, to $100 a night but with our condo since we're staying for the whole month they give us a deep discount so it's about $500 Per month which including everything so that is our monthly expense the first thing is the rent the second thing is the groceries since uh, we we uh, eat a lot like I have four kids so we eat a lot of uh, veg uh, fresh fruits organic vegetables seafood um, so we go to the grocery like um, a supermarket here we spend about Fifty dollars to a hundred dollar each time, and we probably we did at least uh, so far we did two groceries a week. So our grocery bills, um, it's uh, actually it's about eight hundred dollars a month yeah, right now. Uh, it might look it might look pretty high, and it's actually considered high for local people here because it's, it's because we only eat. We try to eat more organic vegetable or vegetable and meat. The sources that we know or where it come from is it's more. Uh, we know we want to know where the source from. So that's why we choose to go to supermarket like Cook Mart or Lotte Mart. Those um, um, tend to be more expensive compared to like the wet market nearby a hotel. Um, but we still, we go there for seafood because we, if we want fresh seafood then we go to the wet market and you can see in our video we will show you the, um, where we get the food so that's our groceries for the month of October it cost us total $800 USD the next item the, the money that we spend is eating out since we are still new to Da Nang, we're still new to this place, we tend to eat out a lot. We like to try out different restaurants, high-end restaurants, or even American food. Sometimes my kids, they miss pizza, they miss hamburger. So we do go to American uh, places, American food 
and they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So the for this month, we spent four hundred dollars on our restaurant uh, eating out, but uh, it's four hundred dollars. The next item uh, that we spend the most is also is transportation. Since we don't have a car, we mostly use um, taxis or Grab. Grab is like Uber or Lyft in America. And we go around with that and then um, it's actually pretty affordable. Each trip is about $5 to the grocery place one way and back. So it's about uh, $10 to take us to the supermarket. Or sometimes we just use delivery services that they provide. Um, we just have to give them $2, $3 to pay for the delivery fee. But uh, ordering online, they do have limited um, items for us to choose from. So we like to shop there. We can choose the food is better with our eyes. We can see it. If we want it, then we buy it. So transportation, uh, we also used to go to take a, a long trip. Uh, such as this month we've been to Hoi An. Hoi An is about uh, 25 to 30 minutes from from where we're living now in, uh, in Danang. And we also went to Mikazuki. It's a Japanese resort. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. So for the transportation cost for us this month is $300. The next thing we spend is our health insurance. We all know because our family, we have kids, so we want to make sure that we have health insurance. And the health insurance that we chose is called Safety Wing. Safety Wing is a, com um, is a company that sells, uh, it's an insurance for you. If you travel around the world, um, you can use it. And because we don't, we buy the uh, the plan that the insurance plan that we have do not include in the U.S. So it's uh, cheaper. If you want to use it in the U.S., you have to pay the premiums is more. So for us, a whole family is one hundred sixty eight dollars a month for uh, health insurance. So far, we only have to use one time, uh, and that was uh, we only have to use the insurance one time for myself and from for my daughter and it was pretty easy to use you just have to make sure you have the policy number you read right and then you submit back the receipt after you pay and then we reimburse it back to you so it's pretty simple and they cover up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars per admission if you get admitted to the hospital they pay up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars so if you haven't checked them out, um, I encourage you if you plan to retire or you plan to travel with your family, check them out. The next item that we spend is education. Um, we are, as you may know from our previous videos, uh, we talk about that we homeschool our children. So right now we, uh, we're using the platform from America called Time for Learning. And we pay them $26 a month per kid. So right now we purchase two plans, one for uh, LED, my seven years old, doing uh, second grade. And then the other plan is um, the other education um, platform that we use is for kindergarten for my, uh, for Charmy and my four year old. So total is about $50 a month for education plus $50 uh, we have to purchase books and supply, school supplies so for education total is $100 the next item that we spend on is diaper for my twins so I have to, a twin and they are about um, 22 months right now so are we still using training diapers training panty for them so uh, it's, we want to buy a, a the better quality here so they are more expensive. It's about hundred dollars a month right now for diapers, wipers, cost. Um, so that's if you. Uh, and then we also have a category for vacation. We this month we've been to two places so far. With the for Mika Mikazuki, the Japanese resort. If you haven't checked it out, click on here. 
uh, that you can see how uh, the experiences for our family at that resort. So for so that alone, we spend two hundred thirty-five dollars for a whole family for one night at Makazuki, including dinner and breakfast and uh, a mission into the indoor water park and the and then stay one night at the Maikazuki. Another uh, place that we've been to for vacation is uh, Hoi An, uh, Nam Hoi An Vin uh, Wonders. We did not stay there this time because um, it's, it's about 30 minutes from uh, where we live so we decided not to stay. We only went in there for the park. We enjoyed it. The, the uh, the zoo and the water park and their uh, you know crazy rides and their indoor activity for our kids and for the whole day that day we uh, with a mission and food we spent one hundred twenty five dollars so when you add up all the total um, for a money budget this month is twenty seven hundred total. Um, for this month. Um, I know it may sound crazy. It's, it's high for the people who live in Da Nang here. They, they think that's, uh, that's a lot of money for um, our family. But for us, because we haven't been, we haven't lived here before and we experience it like we are on vacation. We, we, we wanna, if we wanna eat out, we eat out. We wanna go somewhere, we take the taxi. So that's why the, the cost for a family is high consider if you compare to the local. Um, but that's pretty good deal. You live on the beach, you have beautiful beaches, you know, and then you get to eat good food. Even the American food here is more delicious, tastes better, less salty than the food in America. Living, after living in Da Nang for six weeks, I uh, we fell in love with this place. It has uh, wonderful, beautiful beaches. Uh, people are super nice. If you need to ask for directions uh, or a cool coffee place in town, a best place to eat, the locals are always happy to help you. They uh, they not they don't mind uh, to they that you bother them at all. So you are welcome. They're welcome to talk to you. They're very friendly and always smile. And that's what we love. And another thing that we, is most importantly that we feel here with our children, for our family, with kids, young kids, we feel safe here because we don't see beggars uh, that begging for money, that how, like how we experience somewhere else, that they don't follow us here. Businesses as where they're not trying to uh, scam you for money if you don't buy that's okay you ask for the price and then you negotiate um, if they don't sell to you and you walk away that's fine you don't have they, they're not gonna drag you back or anything because they usually they have a price tag at the market but if they don't you just have to ask them and they are uh, very actually very nice about that that's what I really enjoy here and my kids and I we walk on the street and we see signs everywhere uh, say no beggars, no, uh, uh, no, no, do not bother people on the street. So we always feel like we have privacy uh, walking on the street here in Da Nang. And we also feel safe because um, every services that you use, whether restaurant, hotel, uh, taxi, grab, they always have a hotline, phone number. If you're not satisfied with their services or you're not happy with that any services, you just need to dial that phone number and immediately people will uh, come and investigate or call that business and investigate. And if, if the business is wrong, then he will shut down that business. That's why most people here are very polite and they know priority is to treat the, uh, um, the tourist people here very nice. So if you are looking for, if you're somebody looking for retire or somebody looking for a long vacation, definitely consider Da Nang because it's so beautiful.